Hello photography fans and welcome back to another LensVid review. Today we're taking a look at the PD Movie Live Air 3 Smart Wireless Follow Focus System. Let's see what it can do. Wireless Follow Focus technology has been around for a while. We've reviewed a number of these units in the last couple of years and they definitely offer versatility and control. Back in May 2022, we reviewed PD Movie's previous version of the Follow Focus, so refer to that video for the kit's overview and the system's technical aspects. Also, PD Movie ships the system in multiple configurations, so make sure you know what you're ordering. The Live Air 3 Smart uses the same controller as the previous version and a very similar looking motor. The biggest innovation is that they managed to fit a LiDAR inside this thin motor. The motor features two indicator lights, a small one for motor status and a bigger one to identify the lens. There's a single button with multiple tap inputs for different functions like calibration, speed and pairing. The system features three speed settings to control how fast the motor reacts to the controller. The slow setting is best for close-up shots, but for any kind of action, it's best to change to high speed by clicking the motor button five times. The indicator light will flash three times for the high speed setting. Another useful feature of the Live Air 3 Smart is five customizable autofocus presets. These are identified in different colors by the bigger light indicator on the motor. To switch between these presets, double-click the motor button. The kit also includes color labels for the lenses to identify which preset is for which lens. The motor rotation direction feature can be activated from the controller or the motor itself by clicking the button seven times. In our review of PD Movie's previous version of the Live Air system, we had a lot to say about mounting. And a year and a half later, the issue is still very present. The selling point of the system is its minimal size, but I think it's important to point out that you probably would not use this system in its most stripped down presentation. The rod holder that comes in this kit just doesn't keep the motor steady. It's a powerful motor and it requires a solid hold. The best way to set this motor up is on rods. Even with a cage with multiple points of contact on the camera, the motor gear can get loose. So I fitted this cheese plate on the top. Works, there's two points of contact. It takes up a lot of room. Even though it helps because it minimizes the leverage it shortens the length of this rod. Another design aspect that really limits the system is the lack of a screen. The light indicators can't convey all the information. Of course, a screen would increase the size of this motor, but that could actually help with mounting and give enough room for battery cover. Besides, when you consider the size of the rig with rods and batteries, this motor can definitely be bigger. Another limitation that we ran into is the app that controls the motor remotely. We had trouble getting it to work, even though it showed that it connected to the motor. It's a very simple interface with no setup options. A more robust app with all the settings would improve the system a lot. All of this does not mean that this is not a great system. We've used it on long shoots and the batteries hold up just fine. It's responsive and relatively easy to set up. Remembering all the button tap functions is a bit of a learning curve, but once everything is set up, the operation is pretty seamless. Of course, one of the most important features in the system is the LiDAR, and in our experience, it's been very quick and dependable. One thing that does take a while to get used to, though, is that it's a system that's independent from the camera, so when you're not recording, it'll still try to focus. We have to try to remember to turn it off by clicking the motor button. To set up the autofocus, PD Movie provides a focusing card that you print out and manually operate the lens wheel to focus at the minimal focusing distance, then two feet farther back, and another five feet for the maximum focusing distance. Now press the button again to confirm. It's supposed to give me a beep. That's the beep. Little points. It's gonna be about a meter 20 away. Now I'll focus again. Here we go, confirm. Beeped focus again and confirm see it moving the lens is moving now I've calibrated the the blue setting this is the white setting it doesn't it doesn't react if I double click to change that's the red that's the yellow green the blue setting there it is it's working 
The LiDAR's function is limited beyond 13 feet and in bright sunlight. PD Movie provides a reflective sticker to help LiDAR focus at long distances and in harsh lighting conditions. We tried it and it actually works, but it's probably not the ideal shooting scenario for the LiDAR anyway. The LiDAR actually does a very good job at minimal changes in the focus. It's really good at following a subject when it's big in the frame, so it's best for close-ups and mid-shots. In conclusion, the Live Air 3 Smart System is great for solo shooters and remote focus pulling. It packs plenty of power for a full day of work, it's small and portable, and the LiDAR is a great addition. The only thing that we would ask for is a menu screen and a better app with an option to save custom lens presets. As for pricing, the Live Air 3 Smart Basic Kit sells for $470 and the full kit costs $570. And that is it for our look at the Live Air 3 Smart. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Subscribe.